What is Easter? A time of renewal, hope, and profound significance. Easter, at its core, is the celebration of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. However, understanding its true essence is paramount. Today, we explore Easter's true meaning, unveiling the mystery of its resurrection, which has intrigued millions. Have you ever wondered, how did Jesus conquer death and rise again? You're not the only one. It is a common belief that on the third day after his crucifixion, he rose from the dead. Then after doing the work on the earth during 40 days, Jesus ascended to heaven. But then, how is it possible for a dead body to come to life after three days? And then for a body go to heaven, which is the world of spirits? How about Jesus' return at the second coming? Will his 2,000-year-old body come back to realize more about all these mysteries, let's look at the principle of cause and result and unveil how these events actually happen. Have you ever heard of Prophet Elijah from the Old Testament? How did Elijah ascend? Kings 2, 1, 11, as they were walking along and talking together, suddenly a chariot of fire and horses of fire appeared and separated the two of them. And Elijah went up to heaven in a whirlwind. Then how did Elijah come back? Matthew 17, 2, 1, 3. After six days, Jesus took with him Peter, James, and John, the brother of James, and led them up a high mountain by themselves. There he was transfigured before them. His face shone like the sun, and his clothes became as white as the light. Just then there appeared before them Moses and Elijah talking with Jesus. In this story, we can see how the spirits of Moses and Elijah came back at the Mount of Transfiguration. In the Bible, the cause is the problem, and the result is the answer. Since we know the result, that Elijah's spirit came back at the Mount of Transfiguration, we can know the cause, which is that he also ascended as spirit. How about Jesus? When we look at Jesus' case, the cause is that Jesus died on the cross and resurrected. The result are the things he did after death. After death, he was active for 40 days, in body or spirit. Let's take a look at a few examples. John 20:19. On the evening of that first day of the week when the disciples were together with the doors locked for fear of the Jewish leaders, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you, Mark 16 to 12. Afterward, Jesus appeared in a different form to two of them while they were walking in the country. After Jesus' death on the cross, he was passing through the locked doors, appearing here and there in different forms while transcending time and space. Can a body do that? He traveled like a spirit, not like a body. It is resurrection of the spirit. Therefore, it was not a physical resurrection, but resurrection of Jesus' spirit. Then after doing the work on the earth for 40 days in spirit, he ascended afterwards. Then how is he going to come back in body or spirit? Jesus said he will return as the bridegroom in the next history that was promised in the New Testament. Since he ascended in spirit, at the second coming would he come in body or spirit? For the second coming, his resurrected spirit comes to carry out the new history through the body of a new person of mission, who knows it and receives him. 1 Peter 3, 18 to 19. He was put to death in the body, but made alive in the spirit. Jesus resurrected in the spirit, and when he returns, it will be not in the flesh, but in the spirit. Let's wake up to the signs that God has given us. As 2000 years have already passed, has he already arrived? If you found this video insightful, please leave a comment and share what touched your heart. Happy Easter.